What's up OGs? Uh, welcome to OG Fitness and in this video I just wanted to give you guys an update on my judo journey and I finally got my brown belt so yeah I'm very proud of that. Uh, for, turned 40 recently and got the brown belt uh, not too long after so it's a great feeling. Um, yeah, so now, now that I got my brown belt, like the black belt is a question of going through uh, the exam with the federation. So that's going to take about a year, right? Because the way it works is that you have to accumulate 120 points in competition, right? And then after that, you have to pass a, um, a kata exam, right? Like you have this kata that you have to perform. It's called the nagi no kata. So you're demonstrating um, all the techniques of judo, right, in a, a, in a uh, kata format. And then you have to show the kata techniques, right, so you're tested on that too. So you got to get your 120 points and then you got to do the two, uh, the nagi no kata and you got to demonstrate uh, the, the kata techniques. So the kata techniques is like the purest form of the technique itself, right. Of course, all these forms are highly adaptive to, to the individual when they, they end up uh, using it in competition, right? It looks, uh, it looks uh, quite different, but, you know, it's the ABCs of, uh, of judo, so, like, we have to know it. So, now it's out of the hands of, um, of my club, right? For, it's up to me to go get my black belt, so I'm really proud of that. 40 years old, got my brown belt in judo, so I just wanted to uh, give you guys an update on that. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm quite proud of that. I'm quite, it's, it's, it's quite an achievement for me. I started at 37 in judo. At 30, I started in the BJJ, right? In Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, so I did that for about, you know, six, seven years, approximately. Let's just call it seven. And then from there, I transitioned to judo, which is kind of weird because usually you, it's the other way around, you know, you're a judo guy and then you transi transition to BJJ because, uh, you know, you get a little bit older and of course in judo there's not a lot of place for, uh, for adults really, you know, like they, they really just focus on, on the younger cats, you know, on the, on the up and coming, the kids and then after that when they become of age, right, so to speak, and, and they have, they're talented, they get recruited and then, you know, they go for the Olympics and stuff like that, they get on the national team, they start doing international competition, they get on, you know, and then it's uh, headed to the Olympics. So after the Olympics, I mean, there's not much left, man, for, for older guys like us, you know. So anyways, uh, where, where I, uh, when I started at 37, I was recruited by my coach. And he was more into developing judo for older guys, for adults, you know, for guys who didn't start like at, at five years old and who didn't get their black belt at uh, at 16 you know so to speak so it might not seem like a big achievement you know a brown belt in judo like if you're a 16 year old kid that started at five and you got it and you know maybe now you're in your 20s or 30s but you've had your black belt forever but uh you know it's not i don't think it's good to compare yourself with um you know with other people so to speak because you have to compare apples with apples and oranges to oranges, you know? And after a certain age, let's say after the age of 20, everybody's really different, right? Like teenagers are, teenagers are somewhat pretty much all alike, but after the age of 20, 25, you know, like we all have different um, uh, life experiences and stuff like that and whatnot. So like for me to start at 37 and to go through all the competitions, all the injuries, all the ups and downs. And of course, like anybody, you have your motivations, right? So sometimes uh, you're highly motivated, sometimes you're less, and you know, it's a struggle just getting to class sometimes. And you know, I stayed with this judo club even though it was out of my way, right? I used to live close to the judo club, so it would take me like 15, 20 minutes to get there. Now, man, like where I moved, you know, after about a year, uh, but I kept on going there because, you know, the coach was, uh, you know, we became good friends. And of course, he's a very good coach and he paid, uh, you know, he uh, paid a lot of attention to me and, and brought me up and taught me everything I know. Right. So I drive like friggin 30 to 40 minutes just to get there, you know. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of a struggle. And if you guys um, for those of you guys who live where there's like winter. All right. It's a pain in the butt, man. Like, um, 
here up in, uh, I live in Quebec, Canada. So yeah, the winters here are hard, you know, they get, it gets, it's, it, the, they're long winters and it gets cold. It gets really cold and like I'm used to it, but still, you know, like driving 30, 40 minutes in winter, especially is a really big, big pain in the ass. Anyways, uh, all that to say that I did it anyway and um, I'm happy I stuck to it. So now uh, at this point, while well, I'm, you know, I'm prepping for my black belt, of course, I'm nursing an injury here. So I'm resting my shoulders and uh, this should be done in about, you know, a couple of weeks. And after that, the season's essentially over. And yeah, I'm going to go through a training cycle, you know, and then of course, uh, keep on judoing, but you know, not as hardcore because the season's over just to a lot of technique and stuff like that. And, uh, I'm thinking black belt maybe in probably take me a year because, oh, by the way, in terms of competition, okay, so <laughs> if you, if, if I get managed to get it in, in a year, that's quite an achievement in itself, okay, because here's the thing, I was blue belt, so up until blue belt, uh, I was fighting guys, you know, other guys who, who were colored belts, you know, uh, who were yellow orange, green, and blue. So everyone kind of started at the same time, you know, in, in those colored uh, divisions, categories, right? But now once I hit brown and black, now that I'm brown belt, I'm fighting, you know, like I don't have a choice. I, it's not like, because when I was blue, sometimes if there's a lot of, you know, other blues and other greens, they'll, they'll, they'll put you together, right? Well, the blues anyway. But if there's not enough blues in a competition, they'll just stick you with the brown and black belts. But now that I'm brown belt, like forget that. I'm, I'm always stuck with the brown and black belts. Now the problem is in judo is that these guys who are in brown and black belt, right? If I go into the, um, uh, the senior division, right? So the senior division is like uh, guys under, under for over 21, but under 30, right? These, most of these guys are like, been doing judo for a long, long time. And some of them are even on the national team and, and they're training at the, uh, uh, here we call it INS, right? Institute National of uh, Sport, you know, in Quebec. And that's where the national team trains. So some of these guys are like training there. They're like on the national team. They're going for it. They're, you know, uh, trying to go uh, in getting, they're, they're trying to go international and, and you know, and then trying to get to the Olympics and shit like that. And these guys have been judoing for a while now. So we're talking guys who have like five, 10 years, more like 10 years more experience than me, all right? So my coach is telling me, well, listen, you're not gonna be winning for a while, that's for sure, right? So we're gonna put you in the master's divisions where you have more chance, because I'm 40, you gotta remember that. So master's division is 30 and up. And in 35 and up, that's master's two. And I think 40 and up, I. There might be another division, I don't know. But there's not that many guys up there. But the guys who are there, okay, like they've been brown and black belt for a while too. Some of those guys like are like old competitors that, you know, just keep doing it for fun, you know, and their career is, is you know, um, they know they're not trying to go to Olympics anymore, but you know, they love judo and they've been doing it for a while, so they still compete. And a lot of these guys, well, so these guys also have like, you know, 10 plus years of experience. And then I got guys in there in, in the, uh, the master's division that are like, how do you say, old coaches, right? Like my coach who has like 30 years of experience in judo. So I'm gonna have a really hard time in, in either case. So all that to say that because I'm, I'm going into, um, I'm stepping up to these divisions, you know, brown and black, whether I do it in, in senior or or uh, or masters, right? I'm I'm pretty much uh, I'm pretty much screwed anyway. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a wild ride. So in competition, when you register a, a competition, you get five points, right? And then if you um, for every epon that you score, it's it's what I think it's it's five or ten points. Yeah, it's ten points. Ten points if you score an epon. So if you <laughs> if I'm able to actually and of course, if you do some, uh, if, if you pay your registration, I think you, you know, like every, every year you have to pay your registration. So you, you get like 10 points too. So 10 points right away for, you know, registering because you have to register yourself uh, to be able to compete. 
all right so let's call that like i don't know 10 points right per year uh then five points per competition right and there's maybe like i don't know 10 of them in a year so to speak that i could actually go to because uh you know but doing 10 competitions it's pretty um pretty intense you know five to ten and it's only five points per competition so then if you don't if you don't get those uh those those epons right i mean it's gonna be a long time before you accumulate 120 points and I could also do uh, what do you call it? Uh, what they call uh, stages, uh, which which what's the damn word in, in English? Uh, uh, seminars, you know, like uh, training camps. Yeah, training camps also give you points, but they don't give you that much. I think each training camp it's like you know five or ten points or something like that too. You know, but training camps are good. But I mean, so essentially, if you want to get, if I if I'm able to pull off uh, getting 120 points in one year from from let's say from today, right? When, like the season's over, but it's going to start back in September. So if I'm able to accumulate 120 points, like that, that's an achievement in itself for me because it's, uh, I'm, going, I'm going up against these guys who have a lot more experience. So I'll do what I can, of course, and I'll take the time that it takes. But essentially, if you don't do any competitions, right? Like let's say you're a brown belt and you don't do any competitions at all. Uh, it could take you about four years, you know, by doing, uh, you know, just getting points, registering uh, every year, you know, at the Judo Federation. And then uh, you can do like, you know, these, these training camps and these seminars and stuff like that, you know, and, and you can get points for that too. So that, that could take you like four years before you get your, your brown belt, uh, your black belt, if you don't want to compete. But I, I love competing. I'm all about it. So um, we'll see. If I'm good, maybe a year. If I suck, maybe three years of getting my ass kicked. So we'll see what happens. It's a journey, guys. It's about the journey. It's not about like getting it as fast as possible. So that's it for this video. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, right? So thank you very much for you know taking the time to watch this video. And uh, of course, uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know, where are you guys at in your martial art journey? And what do you, you know, are you guys uh, still going for it? Do you have enough black belts? Are you, is there any particular art that you're, um, you know, that, that's kind of like uh, a lifelong journey? Like, I think that it would take, it would take many lifetimes for me to, to, uh, to really master judo. Like my, one of my big regrets is I didn't discover this earlier. Uh, even for BJJ, you know, I would have liked to. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. Fuck it, whatever, you know. So let me know what you guys think below. So like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much. Peace.